What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to your Tuesday Copart walk around over here at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I want to give a big shout out to the local yard, 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma, and to Copart Corporate Office for allowing me to do this. I truly appreciate it. And to all of you for making this possible. So to get started, number one on my list is going to be a 2017 Chevy Malibu Carnage. I know we're starting off with, we're starting off with Carnage, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize. I know there's some of you that just absolutely hate it. It's just the, the way the list goes, man. That's the way the cookie crumbles. You know what I mean? Nothing I can do about it. Well, I mean, I guess I could completely reorganize the whole list, but truthfully, it already takes me about five hours or so coming out here and doing these videos. I just don't have time to go through and restructure everything and walk back and forth across the whole yard. It's just too dang hot. So we show them in the order they appear on the list. This is nasty. It looks like it was a beautiful car though. I've actually always loved the Chevy Malibu. I really have. And I even like this newer body style as well. Some people, some people prefer the older generation, but I actually like this one better than the, than the older ones. They, it looks like they made it a lot bigger. This looks a whole lot bigger than the, uh, you remember the Malibu Max and stuff? Yeah, I didn't really care for those all that much. Golly. I wonder what came through the windshield though. You know what I mean? I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. Well, you think it runs? Want to see if it starts? I'm just kidding. Obviously, it ain't going to start. There ain't, a, there ain't much of anything left of the front end. Man, whatever they hit, they hit it hard. Or something hit them hard and fast. It was a pretty high hit, though. It was. But, uh, I mean, it still got the frame rails. The rest of the car looks to be in really good shape. It's just, it's literally... This, this this whole front end, it looks like it took out part of the motor. Obviously, it took out the battery and the wiring. No wonder the thing is totaled. Still, I love the Chevy Malibu. This isn't one I'd ever think about looking at, but I thought we'd show a little bit of carnage. Now let's move on to the next one. Next, we got a 2012 F-150, and it's listed as rear end damage. I haven't taken a look at it yet, but uh, so far, so good. Great looking truck, 102,000 miles on the clock. It's got good looking tires. Wait a minute. Dang it. This is the one we saw last week. Yeah, this or yeah, I think it was last week. Mike called this the uh the old man bar. Said that this was like a $3,500 tailgate. Okay. Dang it. Man, I hate when this happens. I really do. Unfortunately, not every car sells at every weekly auction you know what i mean so some of them get run through again and i go through so many cars i just uh <laughs> i literally can't keep track of what's what until i get here and i see it in person and then i'm like oh yeah i remember this i'm not sure if we started it up though so uh i mean i'm already here might as well fire it up Well, she runs. Man, I like this. I like this a lot. If I can figure out how to turn off the uh, the air conditioning here. There we go. It's an older truck, but it's, it's nice. I like it, except for the back end. But you know what, man? It still has a usable bed. Just put a tailgate extender in it right here. You know, what I mean? forget all this. Forget take the tow hitch off and just just forget about it. Take the yeah. You know, you could drive it like this, right? No, you couldn't, man. You couldn't. There's there's probably so much more damage under there than uh you could probably see from the outside anyway. It's fixable. So one of the things I like about trucks, man, is the bed comes off. You know, you don't get that with cars. It's not as easy to take a, well, with unibody cars, you can't do it at all. But on, with trucks, man, you can literally take the bed off. You can section the frame. I mean, I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but if I'm looking for a personal vehicle for me, a truck like this, you know, something a little bit newer, um, I can tell you that's exactly what I'm going to do. You think I'm going to do a complete frame off? Not a chance, man. I'm going to pull the bed. We're gonna find where the frame is damaged. Obviously the whole bed is junk anyway, so take the bed off, scrap it, figure out if, and I guarantee the frame is most likely damaged on this one, although I'll be honest with you, I don't really see the damage, at least not, 
not through here. You know, I would expect it to be kinked somewhere over here. I'm just not seeing it. I'm sure there's frame damage. I have no doubt that there is, but you know, you can take the bed off and you got full access to that. Easy for a frame shop to get in there and straighten it out if it can be straightened or uh, section it and put another bed on it. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm actually considering bidding on this one. I probably shouldn't. I really probably shouldn't, but this could be fun. And I know we got cab damage here from where this thing collapsed in and then obviously came back out. I wouldn't fix that. I wouldn't. And look at the gaps here, though. Tight gaps. And as you get towards the top, look how wide the gap is. So, I don't know. Man, I wish Mike was here because he'd be able to say why it was like this. You know, is that just is that just from the damage here? I would assume it is. I mean, look how it tweaked this whole thing. Or is there something else going on? Whatever, man. I don't care. It's still a decent looking truck. I need to stay away from trucks. So every time I get into a truck, I end up getting screwed over. Someone in the comment section recently said, trucks are my kryptonite. And you're absolutely right. Every time I buy a truck, it turns out to be a bad day for me. Next, we have a flood car, 2013 Jaguar XJ. It is a beautiful car doesn't look anything like the XJ8 that I had. I had a 04 XJ8. Obviously, this is quite a bit newer. And I'll tell you what, man. I think this car is absolutely gorgeous. I really do. Man, I love this car. <laughs> flood car, though, man. You know how those flood cars work out. Let's see what the interior smells like here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, oh. Whew. That's rough. That's rough. That's real rough, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this one smells bad. This is uh this one gets like a 2 on the sniffometer. This one is bad. Now, I saw this on that Camaro, that Flood Camaro SS that I was looking at. Couldn't figure out what it was. This bag removes moisture from the car. Uh that's what this is. It's a uh, damper it i mean it says it right on the package damper it it actually removes moisture from the car so all the water in this bag has been absorbed from the air of the car that's how humid it's been in there it helps dry it out it's kind of like kind of like the equivalent of filling it up with rice obviously this one uh this one's listed as a non-runner i don't know how deep it got i wonder if there's a i mean i'm sure we ended up with water in the intake and that's most likely why it's here. Very interesting though. I wish it didn't have screws. If it had those little clips, you could pop them, take a quick look at the air filters and that'd tell you a lot. But I mean, the water would have had to have gotten pretty high because your air intake ducts are right here. Then they run down. So they're at like the top of the grill here. So for it to have sucked up water, that's insane. Like the water had to have been the water had to been up to the top of the grill and what's crazy is when you look around i just i don't see i don't see any sign that water got this high there's no mud there's no dirt i don't see an oil dipstick i'm sure by now they didn't give you an oil dipstick in this car anymore so dang i don't mind taking a risk on flood cars i really don't depending on what the price goes for but I mean, I really like to be able to check the fluids and I really like to be able to check the air intake box. This thing could have been salvaged, not because the engine was toast, but it could have been salvaged just from how high the water got in the car. You know, it could have damaged quite a bit of electronics. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna sit in here. Yeah, nothing comes on at all. I was hoping we'd get something. I'm guessing the battery's probably in the trunk. And of course it's dead. Huh. I love the car. Love the car. This will definitely go outside of my price range. We'll keep an eye on it just for fun. Anyway, moving on. Next is a 2014 Audi A4 Premium. Wonder what's wrong with this car. It looks to be in pretty good shape. 118,000 miles. It took a hit to the back here. How bad was it? Oh, it wasn't that bad. I guess I say that, but... uh after after seeing what the z car looked like underneath <laughs> uh the z car looked pretty bad oh 
Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see the damage right here. It's not that bad. I'm telling you, man, those porta power machines from uh, Harbor Freight are miracle workers. They could straighten this stuff back out good enough to put it back together with no problem. I don't see any buckles. I don't see any buckles in the fender. The door gap is even down here. Check the other side. I really think it's just cosmetic. Well, not cosmetic, but cosmetic with sheet metal. The door gaps look good over here too. So yeah, yeah, I think you could come in here with a porta power and uh, push this back out. Now straightening this is what would be fun. This is where I'd have I'd have to go talk to Mike, man. I'd have to go get Mike to help figure this out because as you can see, it's been folded and bent. You'd have to straighten all this out and then somehow pull this back out. But I mean, it could be done. The damage down here isn't so bad. It's not too bad. It's thin metal down here too. Looks like you got a lot of the tail lights and stuff in here with it. Uh, well, never mind. One of them's definitely broken. Probably this one. This is a nice little car. I love the Audis. I really do. I know everybody tells me to stay away from the Volkswagens and the Audis because they're just notoriously unreliable, but I can't help myself, man. I just, I just love these cars. Fire right up too, no issue. Uh, I don't know how to turn dang radio off. Uh, there we go, no. Turn off ignition before leaving car. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, gotcha. Goes right into gear, man. There's no warning lights on the dash or anything. I, I can't figure out how to turn the daggum uh, radio off. I don't see a power button. Whatever. Yeah, let's just turn that off. an S line she actually looks to be in really good shape boys I don't see any leaks of any kind yeah this this engine compartment looks really really good very nice I love it here we have a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 with the Hemi. It's got a Hemi, baby. This one uh, doesn't look too bad, right? Oh, that don't look too bad. Man, trucks, I'm telling you, I don't know why, but trucks out here really do sell for a premium. The problem is they seem to sell for a premium out here at the Copart lot, but once you get into the dealership, suddenly the premium is gone. <laughs> I don't know if these people are picking these things up and shipping them down to Texas or something, but uh, something's kind of something seems kind of sketchy, man. Uh, not like something is a, a miss or a foot or something, but it just it seems like people must be buying these things and shipping them somewhere else where they're worth more. Because even though Oklahoma is a great place to sell trucks, I'm just surprised at some of the prices we've gotten out of trucks lately. So obviously, this has got side damage. The bed is toast. I would imagine the bed is toast. This isn't one that's got a removable side piece, is it? No, no, this is uh, spot welded. So does it have frame damage though? Obviously bumpers trash, the bed is trash. Yeah, I think there may be frame damage. It almost looks like the bed is, is shifted this way, which would make sense. I mean, it looks like it took a really hard hit back here. So come up here and take a look at the gap that we've got. And we've got a gap that you can easily fit your hand in at an angle. We'll go to the other side. Uh, there's a good possibility that the frame isn't tweaked and it's just the sheet metal of the bed that's actually tweaked. Go over here and yeah, you can't fit your hand in at all. And that does make sense. I mean, it took a really hard hit to this side, so it could have tweaked everything. There could be frame damage, obviously, especially since it took the hit way back here in the corner. It may have bent the frame. Then again, 
uh, maybe it didn't. It may, it may have just damaged the bed and the mounting points for the bed. Someone's got a custom exhaust on this. I don't believe this is factory. Pretty sure factory, they have much bigger mufflers than this. But I could be wrong about that as well. This looks like this could be a good uh, this could be a good candidate here. Take a look at the tow bar and everything underneath. Let's climb under here just a little bit. You tell me, boys and girls. To me, it looks like it may be all right under here. I think it is. If you look at the damage, the majority of the damage stayed with the bed. You know, it doesn't look like anything even hit right here. So I think this just needs a bed. I mean, just we know how expensive beds are, you know. Uh, for an old 90s model or was it an early 2000s you know for a bed that needed some work it cost me six hundred dollars 137,000 miles so she's got some miles on her she's definitely not the cleanest on the inside is this a firecracker we got a daggum firecracker sitting in here oh well, that's that's fun that's real fun let's fire it up man i like it it's listed as a run and drive it's got power Huh. Is it out of gas? You know what? This may have been one that, uh, no, I think that's only Ford. There she goes. Boy, she taps under the hood kind of like a diesel, doesn't she? This is not a diesel, so it shouldn't be tapping like that. It sounds like lifters. It may not. It may not have been run in a while. Chances are that'll go away. But we've got we've got ABS, tire pressure, traction control, service four wheel drive. I wonder what's wrong with the four x four. So you've got a you got your four wheel drive selectors right here auto four-wheel drive of course i'm sure it's not going to work since it says service or maybe it will it says four-wheel drive is engaged four low you normally got to put in neutral right rear turn signal lamp out well thank you for that yeah four low is definitely not engaging it's just flashing Put it back in two-wheel drive. It looks like even though it says service four-wheel drive, it is shifting into four-wheel drive. Here's two-wheel drive, four by four auto. And you can see the little the little flashing light down there. And now it's uh it's engaged. You can do four-wheel drive lock. And it Yeah, the four by four is working, so I'm not sure why it says service four-wheel drive, but I can tell you that four-wheel drive low does not seem to be functioning at all. Well, it sounded like it just engaged. Maybe not. What do you guys think? This isn't bad. I mean, I'm sure it's going to need a little bit of work. It's got 140,000 miles on it. I don't expect it to be perfect. It needs a bed. Does the important window work? Why, yes, it does. It's got beautiful fake wood trim all over the place. Does the air conditioning work? That I don't know. I don't even know how to get the dang AC to... Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we got some air conditioning in here. We'll come back and check the AC. It's still got that tap though. I was hoping, hoping that that tap would go away and it hasn't. I don't know if you guys can hear this. I mean, it's not that bad. It actually runs really well. I don't see any oil leaks at all under here. She looks good. She looks real good, guys. I like this. What did I just say? I gotta start staying away from trucks? <laughs> Check the trans fluid. It's 
not too bad. It's due for a service. You can definitely see it's got a little foam in it. It's probably, uh, at this mileage, it's probably due for every service. It looks like a solid truck. You also got to worry if that back axle is bent, but it doesn't look like the accident would have affected it. At the same time, you also have to ask yourself why this tire is on it. You know, what happened? There could be more damage than what we're seeing. I don't know. All I can tell you right now is it runs great. The AC does not seem to be functioning at all. No. And the blower motor is definitely having problems. All right. I like it, but we're going to move on to the next one. Here we got a 2011 Ford F-150. This is the EcoBeast, EcoBoost F-150. I mean, obviously, she took a really good crunch to the front end here. I mean, honestly, it looks worse than it is, I think. I don't, I don't think this is really all that bad. It's definitely leaking a little bit of something. You can see it down there, most likely transmission fluid. It looks like it went through the, the oil cooler for sure. Here is your inner cooler, and that's most likely destroyed as well. We might see if we can actually fire this up and get it to run. We can't run it for long because it's obviously leaking something, and I don't want to damage it. We can see if we can get it to fire up for just a moment. Eco Beast. It says it runs. Let's put the key in. Oh, you know what? The light up there isn't on, though. That's not a good sign. So a lot of you have asked me to show more trucks uh, dead as a doornail. Dead as a doornail. Dag nabbit. And speaking of dead as a doornail, now is a perfect opportunity for me to plug my own channel, my own merchandise here. You guys asked me to create some new merch that said dead as a doornail. I got a lot, like seriously, a lot of you started sending me messages and emails and in the comment section telling me if I create a shirt that says dead as a doornail, you'd be the first one to buy it. Well, the merch is out. You can click below. You should see a little banner with Teespring on it. If not, I'll have a link in the description. I'll have a link in the comments to Teespring as well. You can click on that link and I've got new shirts with a new logo on the front tinier logo smaller on the front that says dead as a doornail under it then on the back i've got my original logo which is much bigger covers the back of the shirt with bigger letters that says dead as a doornail on that as well so go check out that merchandise i'd appreciate it help support the channel now back to the f-150 so a lot of you have asked to start showing more pickup trucks and i decided to go ahead and listen to you i don't listen to everything everybody says because not all ideas are good ideas in my opinion but i figured you know what we can show more trucks it's oklahoma for crying out loud we got plenty of trucks out here so we'll start showing some more and maybe we'll start looking at some motorcycles too yeah that's a hint that's a hint you know maybe i should just be a little more specific there will be motorcycles in this week's video It'll probably be it'll probably be the last video of the week, which will be on Saturday. In fact, I can guarantee you it'll be Saturday that you're going to see. Uh, we'll have a couple motorcycles out there. But for now, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more content other than just regular cars. Trying to show you some trucks. We'll try to get some motorcycles in there. Too bad that we couldn't get the uh, Eco Beast to start. So I guess we we'll have to move on to the next one. Here we got a little more carnage for you, ladies and gentlemen. 2014 Ford Edge. Whew, man. So either they ran into a wall at an angle, which I highly doubt, or most likely it looks like someone just crammed right into them, hit them right from the side, man, and just ripped the whole front end of this thing off. I mean, look at this. The Your aprons that used to come out right here are now way over here. I mean, it shifted the whole front end of this entire car. Subframe and everything is all shoved over this direction look how far this side sticks out from the side of the car that was a real hard hit man real hard hit it ripped the crash bar right in half here look at this literally ripped the crash bar in half i'm a little leery to try to pick up this hood Ooh, <laughs> she's sharp under here boys real sharp and rusty so you got to be real careful messing around under here there's your frame rails Good Lord, look, that frame rail, I mean, that's a good 45 plus degree bend right there. If you can see your frame rail right there, that is insane. That is insane. 
goodness. I'm gonna gently lower this hood back down. Let's take a look, see what the interior looks like of this. Uh, surprisingly, it's in really good shape. It's really clean, only one airbag went off. No side bags, which I kind of expected maybe we'd have side bags going off, but no, just the, uh, just the driver steering wheel bag. That's it. Obviously, this one's not going to run. It looks like a lot of the wires have been ripped off and pulled and everything. So, yeah, definitely not one that's going to start. The rest of it is in really good shape, man. This thing held up very well. Very well. Oklahoma City Police Department. Another eco beast. Well, used to be. Ain't a beast anymore. Man, this thing took such a hard hit. Just look at that, man. I gotta watch out. I don't wanna get a I don't wanna get ripped up or chopped up by all this, but look at the sharp cuts and all this, man. And you gotta watch coming out here, you gotta be real careful because you end up with points like this. Man, this'll this'll rip you to shreds. It will. Look at all this jagged metal. Another reason why they don't let children come out here. It's dangerous, man. We got a little more carnage for you folks. 2018 Honda Accord Hybrid. Dang. Whew. Just look at the mess under here, man. Circuit boards, computers, ballasts. What beautiful headlights, man. I love this style headlight. I really do. Gorgeous. This was a nice car. 11,000 miles on it. Poor thing. Wow. It's listed as a run and drive. You think it'll start? I don't see any lights coming on on the inside. Hey, let's try it out, man. Let's see if it'll... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Jeez. Emission system problem. Avoid heavy acceleration to high speed. See your dealer. I don't know if you guys can read that. Brake system error. Drivers responsible for operation of the car. Yeah, boy, this thing's just this thing's just loaded with things, ain't it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any air conditioning. What do you guys? Think? I'm pretty sure there ain't no Freon transmission system problem. Performance may be reduced brake problem i don't know if y'all can even see that we got like every light on on the dash man <laughs> we'll go ahead and shut her off i don't want to i don't want to run it <laughs> i'm surprised she still runs though man that was a uh that's a nasty hit to the front end for this thing to still fire up like that that's crazy tough car man tough car Really not bad looking either. I actually like this Accord a lot. It's a good looking car. It was a good looking car. I think she's toast now, but uh, golly, what a shame. It was a beautiful car. Next on my list, another pickup truck, as you guys requested, a 2017 Dodge Ram. Okay, this one's listed as junk title stripped. Yeah, she's she's done, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing left of this one. Look at this wiring harness that they cut right here. I mean, they cut that sucker clean in half. Look at that. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, there ain't nothing left. We got a, well, we got a rack and pinion. And we got the brake booster and the master cylinder. And uh, the lower half of an intake box. <laughs> a couple splash shields. What do we got on the interior here? It's technically still got the dashboard. Technically. It technically has some carpeting there. And somebody cut this whole section out of it, man. Just chopped the whole thing. What we can see, though, is with the bed off, we can see the. this is basically the same thing. In fact, not basically. This is the same as that other, what was it, 2012 Dodge Ram we looked at earlier. And I said I didn't think the exhaust was factory. Well, it looks like the exhaust is factory. You got a little resonator chamber right there. Your tip's over here. And, uh, you know, there's your factory muffler. So, yeah, it's factory. Still got a fuel tank. Still got a fuel pump. Not really much left of it other than that, is there? Man, I, I can't stop thinking about that 2012 Ram. I actually really like that one. 
and if it's got frame damage we got a frame right here right <laughs> take the cab off of her this poor truck man they're, they're literally there's nothing left of it they took everything they took everything I and mean, we still got front suspension components but that's it last one on the list is an 05 lincoln aviator theft recovery huh this one should be interesting let me make sure i got that year right yeah it's an 05 aviator so we obviously got a somebody really busted out that window and uh looks like they had a trash bag over it before copart put something else on here Let's see what the deal is with that uh, i don't know what that was man but that is just uh okay it's got rust it's the first thing i noticed we got rust bubbling through right here i'm gonna pick this up i don't want to have trash blowing around their yard here let's take a look around the rest of it the tires look to be in good shape vehicle itself actually doesn't look too bad so far uh, dead as a doornail get that merch dead as a doornail man get that merch we got another busted out window here this door is not opening this door opens oh man this interior is just kind of nasty yeah she's a uh, she's rough She's rough. It's a rough girl right here. The body doesn't look too bad though. I'm not a big fan of the uh I'm not a big fan of the aviator. I'm not a big fan of the navigator. I guarantee you everything's dead on this. We couldn't get that back door to uh to open. But I'll give it a try anyway. Of course not. As I said, dead as a door now. What is going on here? What is that thing? freaking dog or something a seal huh well, we got the remote right here somebody's nice enough to throw the remote in there for you well that's listed as a non-runner let's see if uh something's missing up under the hood here no it looks like everything's here i wonder why it doesn't run well, maybe because it's a Lincoln Aviator. <laughs> I wonder if that's why it doesn't run. Does she have oil? She's got oil. It's full. The oil looks all right. Huh. Well, in that case, I really do wonder why it doesn't run. Well, I'll tell you what. This isn't one that I want to find out on. But I figured I'd show it to you guys anyway. Some of you may enjoy the Lincoln Aviator, just personally not something I uh, not something I prefer. And with that, we're gonna get out of here. Wait, not we, there's nobody else here. I'm gonna get out of here. It's the end of the video, car number 10. I'm doing 10 cars video, but I'm telling you Saturday, we'll have a couple motorcycles in there. So we'll probably get 12 or so. Yeah, probably around 12 vehicles in on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed me showing you a little bit of trucks and uh, the carnage, kind of mixing everything up. I hope you did. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know that you like what I'm doing. And if you didn't, give the video a thumbs down. Don't forget to comment below. If you like the content, don't like the content, leave me a comment below. Uh, just be respectful. If you get sideways and idiotic with it, I mean, expect to get a hateful comment back from me. All right. But you know, if you're respectful, no hard feelings. I can respect that you don't like what I do or that you do like what I do, as long as you're respectful about it. Uh, big shout out to Copart Corporate Office, 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma. Big shout out to uh, the corporate office, which is I, honestly, I don't know where the corporate office is. I think it's actually in Texas but I could be wrong. So big shout out to corporate office, shout out to the local yard 18 here and all the people here that make this happen. Thanks to all of you for allowing me to do this. It's something I really love doing and apparently you really love seeing it. So thank you to all of you. I truly appreciate you. Stay safe out there, everybody. We will catch you all very soon in the next one. And don't forget to pick up some merch.